Hey guys, the Potra here, and I'm so happy to see you again. My Google account was recently hacked. Now, I'm talking about Google account, which means anything that's under it, Gmail, my YouTube channels. Yes, I have more than one. I actually have three monetized YouTube channels. They were all hacked. Let's just say that it was not fun. It was not fun to deal with that. And uh, somehow I managed to get everything back. We're talking about thousands of videos and uh, that's a video for another day. I don't want to talk about it right now. I don't want to think about it right now. Today I uh, did a new drawing and I'm just gonna commentate a little bit about it. And if you like my drawings, stay until the end. There might be some news that's uh, hopefully good news for you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, for this drawing, um, I have a pretty... I have a main reference, I'm kind of looking at it, but I'm also making a bunch of changes regarding what I'm looking the reference. And you can see in the beginning, it's my typical style of just laying out the uh, the main proportions. And really, I want to create this feeling of uh, non-resistance, if you know what I mean. I think, you know sometimes when you draw, you feel like you're you are pushing against something that, that, or if you're playing piano, you are trying to do things right without making a mistake. There's like a resistance you try to constantly avoid. A non-resistant way of drawing, I guess, once you get to a certain point, it's where you can just relax and just let your hand do the work. And that's what happened at the beginning of this drawing. I just put lines on down where I think the features should be, where the nose should be, and another line where the lips should be, and so on. And then I smudged them up a little bit. This time I'm using wine charcoal, and now I'm switching back to my pencil, which you know, you can still get it. I ordered a new batch, but it's about to run out, and I hope the new batch will get here in, on time. I don't know. Um, so now, once I have a kind of a background ready, you can kind of see a shape in the background. You can dive in and start to put down some really dark tones and really just give dimension and shape to the drawing. Now, I may make this look like it's simpler than it is, but this part is actually not as simple because every feature I'm putting down, the next part where I'm committing and putting down dark tones, I'm relating that to the features that, that I'm already putting down. So that first dot that I'm putting down, let's say, let's say right now I'm putting down, I'm going to draw the lips at some point, I assume I do. It's, it's been a while. Okay, I'm drawing the ears. That's relatively easy. That's between the between the eyes. I mean, between the eyes and the lips. I'm drawing the ears. Uh, roughly the the shape of the hair. You you can have you know some more flexibility to play around with that. And now notice there is almost no details on the teeth, but you can kind of see kind of a shape of the teeth happening. That is done with very light uh, joints with my uh, blend, blending stump. So that allowed me to see if the teeth and mouth is in the right correct location. If it is not, I can simply erase it and or you know move it up and down. And it looks like it was in the right position so I was able to go in and add in the dark tones which is committed and once it's committed it's much harder to change and remove without you know residual um you know tone left over so once the face is again this is a, this is the tip that i'm going to say over and over if you join like a young girl or even just if you join female in general right or if you join a kid it's better to make the face lighter and brighter than it is to make the face darker than what it needs to be in general it's a it's general because when the face is brighter you have the feeling that the tone is much smoother and um, contrast you know contrast is always the name of the game so in this drawing I have a there's a great deal of contrast between her face I didn't need to do anything behind this behind her in terms of background because her hair provides such a nice contrast to her face and uh, style-wise, I didn't think about that much, honestly. Like, I didn't... I should put a, um, a little bit of less 
I could put a little bit less detail in the hair, but I already did put a, quite a bit of less detail in the hair. It was just uh, if you zoom in closer, which I will show you, that the hair doesn't really have any details. I don't. I no longer do that anymore. I, there was a time where I would draw like a lot more. I would spend a lot more time doing strands and doing highlights. These days, these days I don't really do that anymore. And as you're getting further away from the central point, which is this lovely young lady and her face, everything else becomes less and less important. So I'm becoming, you know, it, especially what she's she's wearing a headphone or something like that. So those you can literally just use very very rough um, drawing. I I think I even smudge a little bit, but that's that's about as much as I, as I did. I didn't try to refine the tone on those at all. I didn't try to refine the, the lighting or the shape, especially regarding her shoulder lines and, and all that. Because if I was to make, let's say, the clothes extremely detailed down here, you would take away attention away from her face. That's not what you want to do. So yeah, I think at this point, um, the drawing is pretty much done. And... Uh, what, I've been talking for 5 minutes? It's so funny that I'm talking to you guys for 5 minutes and it feels like I've been talking for 2 minutes. After this drawing's done, um, recording's done, I spent about another maybe half an hour tweak the, tweak the, the subtle tones, uh, smudge, re-smudge over some, certain parts to make sure it, it is even more smooth and fix some little details that I can see here and there. But generally speaking, it is 95% done. Now, what I want to show you is that I opened... Wait, let me put this on the screen. Okay. Some people always have been asking me for a while is that if they can just get like a, a print of my drawing. And recently I opened an Etsy shop and I put a few, not all of my drawings I am allowed to put on there. Obviously, anything that's... Um, of a celebrity or anything that is where I'm my drawing is way too close to the original picture those I'm, I'm not gonna put it on there but I want to put as much as my uh, artwork on Etsy for people to order you can order prints you can order uh, framed painting a uh, framed prints it's actually one of my digital drawing so this is one of the joints that is done digitally to begin with so it's very easy for me to put on Etsy for you to order as a print and this is actually a print and I am testing it and it looks and it's actually pretty good and I will include the link to my Etsy shop and in the future as I'm doing more joints I will put those joints on the Etsy shop for you guys to buy and it's not gonna be expensive around probably like $20 for a print depending on the size so if you have any questions let me know and like I said, in the future, next video, I'm probably going to talk about how... Well, first, I'm going to talk about how I got hacked. That was an interesting story. That was because I am not a computer novice and I have two-factor authentication. So next one, I'm going to give you guys of how to not get hacked, hopefully, and then how to contact Google and uh, get your information back because that's almost like impossible to do. Like how would you contact a real person and work at Google? Unless you know somebody, it's, 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 it's extremely difficult. Code. But yeah, I'm back. I'll be starting making YouTube a lot more again, and I'm just uh, happy to see you guys again. And make sure you do subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!